Ladies and gentlemen, free thinkers of Sacramento, California, and the country, welcome to the 16th annual California Free Thought Day. And it is my absolute pleasure to kick things off by introducing to you the executive director of the Secular Coalition for America, Mr. Larry Decker. I'm going to be speaking to you in a little bit this afternoon, but uh, right now it is my privilege and great honor to introduce California State Senator Dr. Richard Pan. Prior to his service in the California State Legislature, Dr. Pan was a pediatrician and professor at the UC Davis Children's Hospital. In 2010, he was elected to the State Assembly, and in 2014, he was elected to the State Senate, where he now represents California's 6th District. While Dr. Pan may have changed his profession from medical doctor to legislator, he never stopped saving lives and fighting for children's health. In 2015, Dr. Pan introduced the landmark Senate Bill 277, which abolished non-medical vaccine exemptions in California. Because of Dr. Pan's work, children in California can no longer be denied the vaccines they need because of the religious or personal beliefs of their parents. The Secular Coalition for America was proud to stand with Dr. Pan in 2015 when this legislation was passed, and it is an honor to stand with him today as I present him and David presents him with this award. Please welcome State Senator Dr. Richard Pan. Uh, California Free Thought Day presents this award to Dr. Richard Pan in recognition of his abolition of non-medical exemptions of legally required vaccines for school students, thus restoring community protections against preventable contagions. Congratulations, Dr. Pan. Thank you uh, for this uh, wonderful honor, and I want to thank you, Ms. Decker and uh, Mr. Diskin, for, uh, for, for this uh, tremendous honor. So I'm pleased to be here with all of you uh, on Free Thought Day, and I'm proud to have authored uh, SCR 79, which proclaims today is California Free Thought Day. Yeah. So certainly I invite Californians of all religious views and skepticism, skeptical views, to enjoy in celebration of free thought, science, and separation of religion and government, and urge other public officials to become more educated about the secular community. The first California Free Thought Day was held in Sacramento County Courthouse Plaza back in 2002. And since that first gathering, many of your members and volunteers have worked at local community event organizations to plan auxiliary events, such as Sec Secular Leadership Day and Secular Advocacy Days. California Free Thought Day recognizes our state's constitutional commitment to freedoms of speech and religion and validation of our state's secular community and the importance of scientific literacy and discovery. So I'm pleased to be here to stand with you in solidarity. So I want to thank you for this wonderful award. I also want to thank the Secular uh, Coalition for your strong support for SB 277, which is keeping our kids safer and trying to be sure that we keep our community strong against contagious diseases. So thank you so very much. Thank you for being here. 